Good evening, friends. Just a short uh, visit here to you from Norway. And it's because I see that so many of the people who are watching my videos are suffering and uh, struggling. And some of you are very much living in fear of jinns, of demons, and uh, are struggling with thoughts and dreams and, and fear. And I just want to shortly to say that there is a solution for it. There is a name that is stronger than any demon and everything has to bow for that name. And the name is Jesus or Yeshua. Uh, that is the name of God, the name he uh, shows himself through on the earth to us human beings. And uh, he is the same yesterday, today and forever. So he is the same today as when he walked on the earth. And when he walked on the earth, he went up to a man who had a legion of demons inside and said, go. And then the demons, 2000 demons in one person had to leave and they went into pigs and they drowned in the sea. And the man was there free he was himself for the first time in a long time before that. He had cut himself with stones. He had lived like a living dead and in darkness and among dead de and death. And if you are one of those who are really struggling uh, with uh, spirits, uh, you can call on the name of Jesus and say, Jesus, help me. Jesus, help help me you know and there are so so many who can testify that Jesus actually has come and helped them because he hears our prayers he actually says that he speaks to us all day long I stretch out my hands to a rebellious people uh, who walk on their own ways he says so he's trying to speak to you he's trying to speak to me uh, all day all day and he loves you and he loves me and he loves you so much that he did not sit back in heaven and uh, wondered, will they make it or will they not? Uh, and he, he came and went to the cross, stretched out his hands willingly uh, to die in our place. And because he took all the curses on him, all the punishment on him, all our failures and sins on him, he gives us um, the identity as perfect, even though we are not. He says that we are perfect because he gives us his perfect life. And he took our sinful and failure life full of curses because he was cursed for us. Now we are blessed. So we are not cursed when we belong to Jesus Christ. And you do not have to worry to be cursed. You know, you can be free. And wherever the spirit of Yahweh, of Jesus, of the Lord is, there is freedom. So watching this video, you can be free. And I just say to you, the Bible says, Call on the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. And the word saved there, zozo, means to be delivered out of darkness and into light, out of danger and into God's safety. It means to be healed. It means to be made whole. It means to be restored back to uh, what you really are, you know, to become yourself again. It means to be saved uh, into God's presence. It means to be forgiven of all your sins and, and uh, justified so that you are actually actually called perfect in God's eyes and when God sees you he sees Jesus <coughs> okay so my um, strong recommendation to anyone who is living in fear of darkness or if you have um, if you have confessed to another God who is not Yahweh the God of the Bible or Jesus if you have confessed and given over your life and your body and your soul and your eternity to someone else, to a spirit, um, then I recommend withdraw that, cancel that and say, no, 
I will not worship any other God. I will worship the creator God who created me and who loves me and who came down to save me. I belong to Jesus. I ask you, Jesus, to take me in as your child, to forgive me all, all my failures and sins and take me in as your child. And then you dive into his arms and he will hold you, he'll protect you. And um, you can boldly confess, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in this tent, in this flesh, in this body, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who, uh, the wonderful, the counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, who loved me and gave himself for me. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the head over all power and authority. Did you hear that? Jesus is the head over all power and authority. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. So that by the name of Jesus, every knee, even the knees of the jinns of, of other gods, you know, uh, um, every knee must bow in the heavens and on the earth and under the earth. And every tongue must openly confess that Jesus, the anointed one, is Lord. Jesus, the Messiah, is Lord of all. To the glory and honor and renown of God the Father. So, he is also our Father. And let us live to honor and give him a good reputation also. Because he is good. So may God bless you. And uh, I will pray for you and with you. Father, we thank you that you are the same today as you have always been. We thank you that your name is stronger than any demon. Is stronger than any trouble. Is stronger than any sickness. Is stronger than any darkness. So in the name of Jesus, we come to you. We hide in you. And we ask for your help. We ask for your help, Lord Jesus, to free us out of darkness and into your wonderful light. And right now, we uh, take our refuge in you. We open our hearts and say, come in, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life. Free me, and I cut myself off, and I cancel any agreement that I have made or people have made on my behalf with other gods, with other, uh, with demons or jinns or uh, any spiritual things, uh, anything where I have given an access for spiritual things that is not God and Jesus, I cancel that now. In Jesus' name, I cancel it. I will not have that anymore. I cancel it in Jesus' name. And I say to anything that's in me or bothering me, go away in Jesus' mighty name. I will belong to Jesus. And I am his child. I give my life to Jesus and I will follow him the rest of my days. I know that Jesus is God. I know that he died on the cross in my place. I know that he rose from the dead and that he comes back to judge the living and the dead. I know that he is God and every knee will bow for him one day. And today I bow my knees in love and in reverence and in gratefulness, in gratitude for the sacrifice and for his love. I give myself to you, Lord Jesus. Please show me the way. Please lead me and help me and let there be light in my heart. And Lord, I pray for those who are watching that there will be light in their hearts. From now on, all darkness go away in Jesus' name. Live and light come. Let the light shine forth in their hearts, Lord. So that they can see your glory and your life and your goodness and your love. And let the light shine forth in their hearts. So that they can see the light in your face. Lord Jesus, show yourself.
to everyone who's watching. Come to them, Lord, and give them zozo, healing and comfort, liberation from all fear and restoration, and rise them up to become all, all, all that you have created them to be. Make room for them, Lord. Make space for them, Lord. Level the way in front of them so that they can walk. In Jesus' mighty name.